they're passionate for something they don't know yet. Okay. They, uh, they are excited. They are excited. I think it's going to be pretty good. Go embark on this journey. And you're saying maybe one thing for the next eight minutes, and you have to find new ways to make that interesting. <laughs> Like somebody who can't swim and is being thrown in the deep water, you know. First of all, the, the, the choice of an opera is always determined by what kind of students do we have. Can, what can they sing? You need to find the singers. So if you don't have the singers, you cannot do Cosi Fantu, you have to do something else. Yeah, that, 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 and, and I do that with the colleagues. So we always uh, try to find the best product for what the singers can do. Then you start preparing the singers for auditions. So for every role, there is a selection from the opera that is chosen that you would then perform in the audition, which happens in front of all of the voice faculty and then the opera director. You, you did it well the first time. You, you get seven or eight Purely minutes. choreographic thing. You sing your, your song and then I am starting to choose who I want, and I, I will always do that with my colleagues. What you should do when you go into audition is you should know the whole opera. You should know what it is your character is doing. You should know how it hug, ends up. Hug, hug, yeah, good. Okay. So we have been doing, until last week, we have been doing musical rehearsals. Now we are on the stage. And we rehearsed today the first 80 pages of, of the book. Clear? Mm -hmm. Ready to start? Yeah. Okay. Learning the opera means not only that they have to learn their own role. You, you are becoming <coughs> one. So, in, Sondone, ma son cali. So, sondone, one leg over the other. But they also have to learn the other roles. They don't have to memorize the complete other roles, and they don't have to be able to sing the other roles, but they know, they have to know what's going on. There, and you walk to him there, and you say, Cosa dici? Because these girls shouldn't find out that you are saying that you are playing a game with them. They have to know. Uh, end of um, opera. Uh, if I say to you, I love you, and I, and, and I need to know whether you will say, I love you too, I hate you, or uh, 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 get the hell out of here. Uh, huh? Yeah. And so th then I know as an actor what I have to react to. And then you think, well, our performances are beginning of April, so we have, uh, we have an ocean of time. No, we don't. Right now we're working in Prague now, so we need certain objects for rehearsal time and everything, but most of the set isn't going to go up until we move into Ardry. Our stage here is about one-third the size of the stage of Ardry. As of right now, we are at the point where we're working on gathering props, gathering furniture, making, the, making sure all of that kind of stuff is accurate to the time period. The sound of the music fits the sound of the language. So our, our, we have an Italian coach, 
or when we do a German opera, you have a German coach. And I'm helping out this semester with the opera, uh, and I'm helping with the Italian pronunciation. There's a lot more work to be done, of course. We're only in the initial stages. Um, we're almost at the midpoint you know, of, of this uh, rehearsal, but the opera singers are making a lot of progress. The hardest part, I think, with incorporating the language to the music from those sessions with Matteo is... It could have been better, to be honest. We talk through it without any rhythmical yeah. thing, like according to what Mozart wrote. The last stress is on because there's an accent on it. No build And so putting it back into context with Mozart sometimes is very different. We never in my undergrad did the opera in the original language. The hardest part for me, I think, right now is just the memory, especially the Italian language. We are definitely getting the word stress and trying to sound much more authentic. And then you both do. Ma son tali son They do it most of the time in a language they don't speak. There are, they, uh, there are definitely some that are really making good progress and who, who possess the musical and the linguistic abilities to, that, to excel. So. Working like crazy, trying to memorize our lines and trying to memorize the translations and all the notes. And so it's a lot of pressure to really practice and to get all the, everything down. Don't underestimate the speaking of the language. I technically, I, I design and then I actually take care of the whole show as well. So I do all the building and um, gathering and all of that good stuff. Most of the show has been pulled from um, opera and theater stock because again, we work really closely with the theater department. I think it's fine because I think it points out I haven't gone in for my fitting yet. What they did for the principal female characters was order in a lot of things from other places and they're uh, gonna come in sometime, I'm sure, before we begin staging on Audrey stage. I know that the chorus has been in and the men have been in to try on their things. My assistant Stephanie and I have been working on it, um, you know, shopping on the internet, pulling things like that. Um, since about mid, since about December. Hey guys. <laughs> Thank God. And some shoes. If you you go in for your first one. It takes maybe down. five, 10, 15 minutes, depending. And they just take your measurements to make sure that they can pull the right clothing for you. Yeah. Check. Right shirt. Check. We're getting really creative. We're using a lot of modern clothing that we're adjusting to make into period clothing. And I found him yesterday and I was like... And, you know, it's always a good challenge of, uh, you know, seeing how much you can get done in a, sh in a short amount of time because there's a lot of people. Um, it's a big show. It's not a big, big show, but it's double cast. <laughs> you got to find stuff for two casts as opposed to one, which can be challenging. Nylons so. would be great. Yes. Great. Smooth and it's way. always really fun seeing it. And it's nice when you can do it with another person so you get to see what they're doing too and just see how it all works. We started on Sunday with a load in. We basically spent, we basically grabbed things from all around campus, brought them all into one area. We went to Proc now, we've got a storage unit on South Campus. And then day two we came in yesterday and it was a lot of figuring out what we have and what we don't have. It was a lot of scrambling to catch up with where we needed to be. Um, right now we're working on installing all the doors in their flats so that we have that ready to go. Um, and that Good. takes a lot of tweaking just because flats aren't, you know, door frames in a house. They're flats that are maybe built the right way, maybe not so built the right way. They've got tweaks in them, they're old, they could not be square anymore. So it takes a lot of finessing. They're all working very hard and they are, and I think they're doing a great job. So 
originally we wanted to do it in the set that we had five years ago. But the set that we had five years ago had to be rebuilt. And five years ago there was space here where we could rebuild a complete set. And a part of the set was ready, we could store it in the, in the space of the orchestra uh, pit. But that has all changed because Ardry has been re re renovated. How's it feel? I mean, the list that I have of things to do is much longer than it should be. A big part of what happened yesterday was coming in, getting Nato used to what's happened, the lights, the curtains, everything. The lighting is, is good. It worked out a lot better than we, than we had hoped. At this point, we are about 75% of the way done, but only because all of the things that we have left are small, nitpicky sort of things. So That's where he wants the second floor. If you only build doors, you don't build the, the wall between the doors. So you have to do something with, with lights and with curtains or with rugs or whatever. You have to fantasize. And it's, fantasizing is always fantastic in theater. Now this is the kitchen door. The kitchen door is a swing door, but please don't use it as a swing door today because then the whole set will fall apart because it's still in the making. We are ready for, uh, for the final round of rehearsals and the final round of rehearsals will be the heaviest rehearsals of everything we've been done before. Tomorrow they have to be trained for the orchestra and the orchestra has to be trained for us. I mean they had never uh, come through these French doors and, and so they, they have to get used to that. The first day in, in this new uh, theater and, and under these new circumstances, it was not a bad show at all. So now we have to get it fine-lined with the orchestra. The directors never, are, never think that they have enough time. never forget that we are as good as our singers are and as good as the orchestra is we are a school great it's coming together beautifully okay again più staccato più staccato più staccato so now we have to get it fine lined with the orchestra everything we've gathered almost everything we're still working on a couple of little things right before we do our dress rehearsal and it's just kind of the finishing touches getting your accessories figured out um, if there are any quick little minor alterations that they need to do for fitting purposes they can do that the bow out just a little bit it's a little crinkly some of the chorus members have really easy costumes so they'll be real quick and we need to refit some of the principles with some of the alterations that we've done and stuff like that. The major one I saw was when she put the key, she put it in her, in her skirt. We're pretty much, get, we're gonna try stuff on, we're gonna do the alterations, we're gonna put some labels in them and then we're gonna do the show. This is the last activity without an audience. The whole rehearsal period has been a, pro a process of growing. 
Justin, will you please come in before Eccoli? So, and you send them out. And they badly need an audience, an audience that reacts to what they're doing. And I, and I don't mean laughing only, but also being moved or, 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 or being excited or, or whatever. They pull, they pull themselves together. That's one of the miracles of theater. I mean, you, they need an audience. They have now been uh, working this show and done it 10 or 20 times without an audience. They need an audience. Yeah, as far as knowing the show goes, I feel way better. This last tech week was really important because with our staging rehearsals, we've only done chunks at a time and it was never really running anything. We would run act one, and that's great. Act one is so comfortable because that's what we started with, and so it's been living with us longer. Act two is another story. It's much more fresh as far as the staging goes. But after having had two dress rehearsals, now I'm like, oh, I mean, I get it. Feeling the entrances, what everyone else is doing around you. Because sometimes when you look at a role, you're just looking at your part, not necessarily the scenes that you're not in. And so I know a lot more overall context for the opera this way. <laughs> And at a certain moment, they are ready. I mean, I think as a cast, we're all very much ready for having an audience. Uh, having family in the audience makes it more nervous and more exciting at the same time. It's so nice to have someone to sing for who you know is really watching you and focusing on you. I would like to prove that, yes, my master's degree has really helped me improve my voice and this is what I'm doing, I want it to be validated, <laughs> you know, by this performance. So that's a little nerve wracking too, but it's also nice because they've seen where I came from and so then they can see the progress of it. I'm excited for the weekend. I hope that we have good responsive audiences in all three of our performances and that they really understand the story and sympathize with the characters and get into it. This is the last rehearsal. Then we have a dark, a so-called dark day. Everybody rests. And then on Thursday morning, we have uh, the school matinee, which is always our first performance, and it's a complete performance. And um, we have, uh, we will have about 500 to 550 young kids coming. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we have to start. <laughs>